Hey, Justin, how you doing? You hear me okay? Yeah. Hey, you're a guy that's obviously been, you know, up around NFL rosters. I mean, you know, I would imagine you know what every transaction term at this point means in terms of practice squad, wave, all that stuff. What is it yeah. like for a guy like you who's on the fringes of an NFL roster for so many years? You've been doing this four years now. What what kind of life is like that? Is that for you? Um, it's an interesting life for sure. Um, I've moved uh, countless times, honestly. I've lived, it's kind of, it's good and it's bad because I've got to experience a lot of different cities all over the country and stuff like that. So that's cool. But um, in terms of just having to get, in, get up and move my life um, pretty often, it, that's not very fun. Um, my wife hates it too. Uh, she has to move our stuff most of the time because a lot of times, as you know, they call you and you have to be there within a day. So day or two. And so I'm out right away and she's left to pack up all the house and that sucks for her. But um, yeah, it's kind of just always being ready um, and uh, being willing to just move around and do what it takes to, you know, still you make good money here. Um, and so there's not many other things you can do to make this much money. So I guess moving around is a side effect of that, that, you know, kind of have to deal with. Do you kind of laugh when, when people think NFL football player and probably assume you live some glamorous lifestyle that's, you know, lifestyle of the rich and famous kind of thing? Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions is that like when you get signed, um, like when I got signed as an undrafted free agent, people are like, oh, well, now you're rich. It's like, no, that's not the case. I was in camp my first year and barely made anything and then wasn't signed pretty much my whole first year and had to live off what I made and for like a little signing bonus in camp. And so, you know, part of it's a grind and uh, it sucks, but you just got to keep working and hope uh, hope your opportunity comes. I'm sure being signed to the 53 is still something you've seen as an accomplishment, but maybe not the same excitement about it as you did the first time. What about this occasion? Do you feel more confident in your game that maybe this time you might stick and, and be able to hang with a team, you know, for a long-term period of time? Um, you never know, but I know that uh, I've been working hard ever since I got in the NFL and I've improved every year. Um, and there's always different things I'm will are working to improve. So hopefully if I can uh, clean up some things, It'll help me stay on the roster a little longer this time. How close did you think you would come to forcing a, a what would have been a monster fumble on Monday night against Kansas City? Uh, I thought I had it, I, and then I saw the replay, and it just my heart sunk. To be honest, it was just like, damn, that was so close. Cool. Well, congrats on getting to 53, man. Good luck rest of the year. I appreciate it. Yep. Hey, Justin, Matt Bove with the ABC station in town. Congrats, like Thad said, on the 53. I guess as you look at this defensive line, how do you see yourself fitting with that group? And maybe what, you know, strengths do you have that could provide some extra pass rush or, you know, help stop in the run? Um, honestly, I just try to go out. I try to have as much of a well-rounded game as possible. I work on run defense every day. I work on pass defense. Whatever I see in the game that I feel like I didn't do well, I'm going to go uh, before practice every day and work work on that. Um and then whatever they, whenever they put me in, whether it be first down and I'm run stopper or it's third and 10 and they want me to rush the passer, um, I want to be able to do as many things as I can to help me get on the field. Is that versatility something, you know, you hope that can, you can latch on to as, you know, you try and stay on the 53 here moving forward? Yeah, the more, the more you can do, the better chance I'm going to have of uh, sticking around. So that's why, like I said, I'm trying to work on every aspect of my game so that it's not uh, just he's only in on this one uh, situation, you know? Thanks, man. Congrats. Thank you. Hi there. Uh, how do you think your, um, your game has kind of grown? What have you been working on, uh, to, you know, in order to earn and, uh, you know, earn and get this opportunity? Uh, one of the biggest things since I got here is uh, we're a lot more penetrating style defensive line um, and uh, I hadn't necessarily come from systems that were as, as penetrating as this one was um, so I really had to focus on just getting off the ball um, every single play um, and it took me a little bit uh, especially through camp and stuff but I'm starting to get better at it and I uh, still work on it every day because um, sometimes uh, I revert back to some old habits um, and I just kind of have to get rid of those. How much of a change has that been? I mean when you've been a, you know, a couple of different places your it's different approaches and different techniques everywhere. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? I didn't hear that one. Sorry, uh, how much of a change has that been when you touch on that? I mean, when you've been a couple different places, you know, every every different team has different, you know, techniques and approaches to that. Yeah, uh, there's different te 
techniques everywhere. And uh, it, it's kind of been um, a blessing in disguise going so many different places um, because, you know, there's not just one way to play D-line. Um, and so getting to learn from different coaches with uh, different technique um, philosophies, I'm able to pick and uh, choose different things that work the best for me. And um, definitely our uh, just getting off the ball here is one thing that has really helped me this year. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Justin. It's Jason Wolf at the Buffalo News. How you doing, man? Good. You? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for uh, giving us a little bit of your time. Um, curious, what do you think you've proved to the Bills and, and what do you think that you've proved to yourself so far this season? Um, I think I just shown that I'm going to, you know, come out here every day, uh, work hard, run to the ball um, and uh, play with great effort. And I think that's probably the thing that I've uh, shown the most. And uh, that's one thing I'm proud of is, uh, just because that takes no skill and it's just something you have to do every day. Um, and I think that's one of the things I like the best about me. And um, but, yeah, I still have a lot to improve on and different things that I need to work. Sure, but you've been working so hard and, and so long for this opportunity. And then there you are on Monday Night Football against the reigning Super Bowl champions, and, and, and you had yourself a game. So that must have been, even in a loss, it must have been gratifying in some respect for you personally, right, with all that you've put in? Yeah, it was definitely uh, a nice experience. It would have been better if we got that win, got that home log, got the win. That would have been awesome. But, um, yeah, it was good to be out there. I mean, I've been around, this is my fifth year, and that was my fifth game playing. So every game I get to play is a great opportunity, and it's just another uh, chance to show what I can do, and uh, it also helps me know what I need to improve on. I know that uh, you were a wrestler in high school, and uh, you know so was Sean McDermott, and he's big on guys with a wrestling background. How do you think that helps you, uh, uh, the interior of the defensive line? Um, wrestling was a great help for my uh, football career that's actually why I did it I only wrestled two years I played basketball the first two years and uh, I talked to some people and they told me to try out wrestling because it would help me for football and um, I think just uh, like using your hands um, uh, playing with leverage different things like that especially I was a heavyweight and I only weighed like 230 235 in high school so I was usually a smaller uh, heavyweight and that really helped me play with leverage and I'm a smaller D lineman now, and so I have to play with leverage. Michigan's a brutal state for high school wrestling, too, man. It's one of the best yeah. in the country. You didn't go up against cream puffs there. Yeah. For sure. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate your yeah. time. Thank you.